narwaye urwaye bukomeye cyane bwo ngiki kibyimba barambiye ngo bakuyeho ikintu kibiro 12 na magara manti ukarangaye There is nothing more painful for a mother than seeing her children go hungry all because of her inability to feed them. A couple of years ago, this sad reality was real to this woman here, Uiraje Imakile. For nine years, her left leg was almost not functioning because of this huge tumor she had developed on her lap. As a result, she couldn't walk or stand for more than 30 minutes. so she couldn't work to feed her five children she was raising at home, which was a tremendous tragedy for her. When her tumor developed some nine years ago, Imakile thought that it was simple and it would disappear after some time. But her tumor progressed rapidly, becoming both bigger and bitter. Some doctors told her that she would never recover as her 12 kilograms tumor worsened every single day. Initially, Imakile gave birth to nine children, of whom four had gone to the city, while five others were still young, reliant on her to provide for them. Her main source of income was sewing clothes and cultivating, but her sickness had restricted her from doing any of that properly. When we visited her for the first time, her initial wish was to get medical treatment. And we published her story, which prompted some people to donate money to her through givinglife.com. And for the first time ever, she was able to get proper treatment. She had asked us to visit her again after she had recovered, and this time around, we kept our promise. As we paid her our third visit to witness her recovery progress, she received us with great joy as always. But surprisingly, Imakile is a different person now. She is healthy and her tumor has disappeared. She can stand now, walk without aid and do some home activities she was never able to do a couple of months ago. the first thing to say was an expression of joy and gratitude.
She has reasons to be grateful. She can now take care of her domestic work very easily. She can sweep her compound, wash her children's clothes, and prepare her beans before cooking them, so that her children will have something to eat when they return back from school. But her journey has never been easier. With the donation given by the Afrimax community, Imakile managed to go to the hospital and was diagnosed with cancer. Doctors performed a five-hour surgery to remove her tumor, which weighed more than 12 kilograms. She spent more than four months in the hospital, but she was later recovered and discharged from the hospital. Where I am today is a result of your sustained efforts to help me. My efforts had been exhausted and I was still sick. But when you intervened, you helped me to get the best medical attention I needed. And you can see now that my situation is very different from the last time you visited me. I'm very happy and thankful to all of you. When Imakile saw her left leg without a tumor for the first time in nine years, she couldn't hold her happiness. She praised the Lord and all the people who helped her to get money to pay for her medical bills. Mm. She has so many reasons to be happy. Today, she can work again in her field as she's able to cultivate after recovering from her long sickness. Additionally, she's able to rebound her sewing career once again. Her leg is now able to help her use her sewing machine, and her clients have started to return back to her after they had disappeared the day they saw that she was no longer able to work because of her sick leg. She is now able to provide for her children easily compared to how tough it was a couple of years ago. <laughs> But even if Imakile's life has changed dramatically, she still has problems. She can work and bring money home, but her expenses are so heavy as well. Beside feeding her children, she still has to visit the hospital again for medical checkups, but she's not able to do so because of lack of money. She would like to get money to help her return to the hospital for more treatments. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the sewing machine she uses is not hers, and she's afraid that if its owner comes to take it, she'll be left with nothing, and her children might go hungry again. I can thank everyone who helped me, but I still need some help as a woman who has been sick for a long time and who is raising many children. If I get help, I plan to start some business. The sewing machine I use is not mine. If the owner takes it away, I may struggle. I'm also still going to the hospital and I would like to have enough money to keep up with my medical bills in time. You can help the Suman to have a better life through the givinglife.com link found in description and pinned in top comments. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.